power raking, dethatching, scarifying, lots of different words, but the same thing. Essentially taking all the rubbish at your grass so it can grow better. And that's what we're going to be doing today. After a long cold winter, everything outside is in need of some attention and your lawn is no different. Weeds, moss, twigs and all kinds of debris inevitably end up in the lawn. So spring is the perfect time of year to give it a clean up and to allow the good grass you want to see in the lawn, the space and conditions to thrive and look good. So an afternoon spent scarifying will pay dividends throughout the summer season. I start by removing any of the large perennial weeds that have established themselves over the winter and at this point in early spring are way ahead of the grass in terms of growing. I'm using the Fiskars weed puller here, which I find to be an excellent way of removing the bigger weeds with as much root as possible without having to bend over or to be on my hands and knees for the whole time. But inevitably there are some that are just too well anchored and the only way to remove them is with that old kitchen knife. During this, if I do see any obvious distinct clumps of poa annua, or annual meadow grass as it's called, I'll take them out. I think it's really worth removing these bigger weeds at this stage, as a scarifying process will tend to chop them up and spread them everywhere, so best to remove them now before you start. really is such a nice day today. So that was 10 minutes of weeding and I got quite a lot out. It's probably all the big stuff. It's not all of it for sure, but it's nice to get the big stuff out of the way. Before I do any scarifying though, I'm going to give this a cut, probably take a third off of what's there. It's going to be a lot easier to scarify if the lawn is a little bit shorter. And if you've got a really bad lawn at this point, I would cut it down and scalp it and cut it as short as possible because you really want to get rid of as much rubbish as possible so you scarify and take up everything. I'm not really in that position this year, I was last year. It's not looking too bad so I'm just going to take a third off then we'll do some scarifying but with the sun I think first I'm going to have to get a hat. This is only the second outing for my new Alec Kensington which is a recent investment of mine, the review of which you can find in the link on the screen or in the description below. When it comes to lawns, I'm a bit of a traditionalist who likes the formal striped look. And the only way to get that, I think, is with a decent cylinder mower. The way it properly cuts rather than shreds the grass blades together with the rear roller means even the worst grass can look pretty good after a once over with a machine like this. So that is the lawn cut and it's actually looking pretty good actually. It's got some nice stripes and it's looking really green but that's a lot more down to the quality of the lawnmower than the quality of my grass. So to really improve the grass for this coming summer I have to scarify it although it looks quite nice at the moment. Now to scarify the nice thing about this Alec Kensington is that I can change out the cutting cartridge and actually insert a scarifying cartridge and use the same machine as well. So I'll show you how I do that now. With the grass box and its cradle removed, I use an Allen key to remove a single bolt on each side of the cylinder cartridge and then take off the side cover.
the cutting cartridge then just pulls out and the scarifying cartridge pops in. The fixings go back in place and it's job done. So that was really easy, literally only took two minutes to change that cartridge. And what we've got now is we've got a scarifying cartridge in our lawnmower. And this cartridge has got lots and lots of steel sprung tines all the way round that are going to basically act as like a power rake and go through our grass and rip out moss and anything that shouldn't be in there. Now level wise you really want to be starting at a high setting and then gradually wind yourself down. This, the idea with these tines is they're going through the grass and taking out debris. They're not scraping the soil and ripping up the topsoil. And the only way you really know you're at the right level is to start high and gradually work your way down. And I think you'll get a feeling for your own lawnmower or your own scarifier when you need to stop and maybe come back up a little bit. So let's get this on the grass and see what it does. I start with a high setting which I realise very quickly isn't penetrating far enough into the grass to pull out any of the debris. But after a couple of quick adjustments I find the level I'm after that starts taking out everything I want. It does a good job of removing everything except for grass, including the leftover leaves from autumn. I've got it set up so the tines are just touching the topsoil without ripping it up, which means it's also taking out everything within the grass layer. After the first pass, I then start going diagonally across, which rakes from a different angle and then tends to pick up even more debris. This is a new lawn that's only a couple of years old, so at the moment I don't have any significant thatch build-up in it. And by doing this type of scarifying regularly, I think I'll avoid that gradual build-up. An obvious difference between the electric scarifiers I've used in the past and this lawnmower is that the debris is mechanically thrown into the grass box rather than left on the surface, so therefore no need for me to rake it up afterwards. Just interesting to see what we're picking up here. This was the first cut, which is like 95% nice green grass cut nice and finely. This is what we're picking up with the scarifier, which is A, all the leaves, and a lot of the brown. I haven't really got much thatch in this lawn because it's such a new lawn, but it's picking up all the rubbish, all the leaves, all the brown bits, twigs, and everything else, which is completely different to the fine grass that we started with. So that's really good. Whichever way you go about scarifying, you will end up taking out a lot more material than you think. Usually far more than you can believe is possibly hiding in your lawn. So be prepared with plenty of bags to bag it all up or a large place in your garden you can store what you've collected. So that's the scarification complete. And what I did notice using the cartridge in the outlet lawnmower compared to like an electrical scarifier is 95% of the debris actually goes into the grass box, which means I just put it straight in the bin. The electrical ones I've used in the past have not only been very narrow, but basically shot everything out the back. I've then had to spend half an hour raking everything up, which is quite nice to use something a little bit more professional. The other thing I've just noticed is because of the scarification process, I've just noticed some poa annua or annual meadow grass is now sticking up 
and just waiting to be cut. And as this is my arch nemesis, I can't resist getting in there to cut it. So although this would normally be the end of the process, I'm going to give this one more cut to try to get some power annua while it's sitting there waiting for me. So there you go, job is complete. That's a bit of weeding, scarification, cutting the grass, doing the edges, and even fertilizing as well, ready for the summer, which actually looking at the weather, isn't gonna be very far away. And I must say, it's a pleasure doing it with this at Kensington. And the best thing is, it puts all the debris into this box rather than just throwing it back at my legs, which is what I'm really used to. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please check out the other ones on the channel and please go and support us at our Patreon website as well. It'd be great to see you over there for all the extra content and for extra weekly videos as well. So after all of those jobs, I still have got one that I need to do from experience before I have a quick glass of wine. So. Until next week, I'll see you then.